Audi has another e-tron. Rinspeed continues its unique approach to Geneva. And in case you hadn't heard, this weekend is the Daytona 500. We have the grid. I'm Greg, it's Friday, this is Auto Week TV. Audi will reveal an e-tron at the Geneva Motor Show, and this one's based on the A3. What's new and different here is Audi is calling this a realistic glimpse into the future of its cars. E-tron versions of the A1 and the R8 never made it to series production. We think the A3 has a better shot. It runs a hybrid electric setup making around 200 horsepower and it can travel 31 miles just on electricity. Now this is more realistic than the original e-tron. That was all electric and based on the r 8 supercar. The A3 would use a hybrid technology setup which is much more common today. The Geneva Motor Show is getting closer and that means one thing. Rinspeed is back with another crazy concept. Now this has become a quirky tradition for them at Geneva and this year the Tudor is showing what it calls the Micromax. It's about the size of a Mini but it's designed to look like a bus and it uses cloud technology to avoid congestion, at least theoretically. Most importantly, at least for me, it has a coffee maker. Rinspeed does crazy stuff like this at Geneva, and usually they're pretty cool. In the past, we've seen Lotus submarines and a bright yellow customized Telbo Lago. It's all pretty out there. Finally, we already know Danica Patrick won the poll for the Daytona 500, and Jeff Gordon starts next to her on the front row. Now we know who's right behind them. Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick each won qualifying races Thursday afternoon. That puts them on the second row. Now there's a fairly elaborate qualifying system for the 500 that's been going on for almost a week, speed week. The race, of course, is on Sunday. Now check back at autoweek.com all weekend where our Hall of Fame NASCAR writer Al Pierce will bring you all of the latest news straight from the track. If you haven't seen it already, check out our bench racing segment below, where a few of our editors discussed what they expect to see at Daytona. That's it for today. Have a great weekend. Enjoy all of the racing, and of course, enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto and business news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine, and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.